थ्रू आउट द वीक आई बेरली गेट टाइम फॉर माई सेल्फ सो आई यूजली स्पेंड बाई चिलिंग और गो आउट विथ माई फ्रेंड्स और हैव अ नाइस डिन लंच एंड डिनर बिकॉज थ्रू आउट द वीक आई ईट एनी थिंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई अनादर इन साइट्स वीडियो If you are watching me for the first time, my name is Rishikesh, and I make videos on university education, working, and life in Germany. So, as part of my work, I am currently making a video series called Insights Videos, where I travel to different universities in Germany, make videos on courses you are interested to study as an international student, and provide you all the information in a single video. So, I meet students there or professors who are teaching the course, and I get all the information. in in one video so what kind of information do i get basically everything so right from the course structure what kind of jobs you get afterwards what do you study in that particular course what kind of part time jobs available in that city how much monthly expenses are there in that particular study as a student what kind of lifestyle is there what kind of how can how you can even enjoy the life as a student in that city and even at the end of the video i also ask feedback or you know what kind of thing you should come prepared before you come to this course this video is going to be on electrical engineering and information technology master's course at hochschule darmstadt make sure you watch this video till the end and to get to know all the information to hear all the feedback and everything and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do that definitely motivates me to create more content for you and even if you have subscribed to my channel then you can get notified for the next videos as soon as i post it so without much wasting much time let's get into the video and i hope you enjoy it I'm with my friend Aditi today. She is studying masters in electrical engineering and information technology at Hochschule Darmstadt. We are going to meet her, we are going to talk to her, uh, ask her few questions and get to know more about the course, the insights uh, which is the all video is about. All right. So Aditi, can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, when did you come here? What are uh, what was your background experience before? Yeah. So hi everyone. Uh, my name is Aditi. I'm here from Kutch Gujarat and I'm residing in Germany uh, in Darmstadt since uh, uh, past year and a half and I did my bachelor's from India in the field of electronics and communications and right now I'm pursuing my masters uh, in the field of electrical engineering and information technology. Okay. And here my major is communications. Okay, all right. So yeah. can you also tell us how did you get into this like what was the uh university requirements admission requirements uh -huh. what all the things that you fulfilled and what kind of examination said that you took um so like uh, since i did my bachelor's i was always interested to further my career um in the field of communications and i looked and researched for the university and the courses accordingly mm -hmm. wherein uh, like the requirements for hochschule darmstadt's uh, darmstadt was uh, a mandatory ilta score uh, and i think if i'm not wrong it was a minimum of 6.5 yeah points, yeah 6.5 yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh like german is not mandatory for this course i mean if you learn it's better uh, to gel up with the people over here and you can it it will the life will be very easy for you the courses here and the subjects i did in my bachelor's were almost similar so it was a bit easier for me to mm -hmm. get an admit uh, okay. at hochschule at darmstadt okay. can you tell us about how is it structured uh, how many semesters here are there and is there any mandatory internship or thesis how is it how yeah. it is okay uh, so my course is for 2 years it it can it includes 120 ects mm -hmm. uh, which are divided for, uh, into 60 credits for uh, subjects okay. 30 credits for mandatory internship and 30 credits for master thesis okay. wherein uh, in the subjects like uh, for 45 credits you have to do the mandatory subjects mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you can select your electives for up to 15 credits and okay. yeah that's how the 60 credits are divided okay. and you are flexible with um, whenever you want to take the course but uh, like few of the mandatory courses are only for the specific semester as in winter semester or mm -hmm. just for the summer semester so you can you have to choose accordingly like um, which Uh, courses you have to do when and okay. yeah now as you said like you, your major is communications engineering yeah, yeah. when do you get to choose that like in this, from from the first semester itself or later you can choose it uh, how it is no actually it is while uh, applying only. okay yeah ah, while doing okay. your application you have to select your major and also uh -huh. apply accordingly so you study uh, your subjects only particular to that specialization yes, yes. Uh, right. but uh, for uh -huh. electives you can select from a, uh, any other okay. uh, specialization okay so let's well. talk more about that how is your communication engineering what do you study in that 
subjects uh, and all yeah. so so subjects uh, that are included are i would say microwave uh, mm-hmm. systems and advanced digital signal processing information network fields waves and antennas the thing yeah. here is you can even get to know about all of this from the module handbook which yeah. will be available yeah. at the you know uh, university website i can even put the video in my video description i'll put the link yeah. you can just click on it and you'll get to know about the whole course course curriculum can you also briefly tell us what is there in other course curriculum uh, sorry other specialization Like, uh, so uh, like if i talk about embedded system it has uh, electives such as uh, computer graphics okay. or mandatory subjects like uh, vlsi uh-huh. um, then there are the subject called uh, applied programming techniques like it okay. is apt which includes uh-huh. uh, programming with c++ and uh-huh. oops okay. um yeah Okay. So while studying, you would also be interested to work part time, right? So uh, to manage your expenses. So I want to ask you, Aditi, now, what kind of part time jobs opportunities are there for for these guys, for students? uh in dam start in u- university as well mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like if i start with the technical jobs mm-hmm. there are uh, working student jobs in some of the startups or mm-hmm. many of the companies like this mm-hmm. frown of a year okay. you can uh, be a research assistant or something um there are also like even the university professors post at times for student research assistant or something like that that, that is basically called hevi jobs yeah. um then there there are also uh, uh, university portals where uh, you can uh, apply for jobs for student jobs or uh, for mm-hmm. even non technical jobs like working in a cafe or something university yeah. cafe or something yeah. and if i mention about non technical jobs then mm-hmm. you can be a rider mm-hmm. um, here or you can work in a restaurant as a chef or something yeah okay or uh, there are uh, two three apps uh, like zen jobs and ucm wherein you can get jobs of uh, d- like different kind of jobs like working in the zara or oh, at a clothing okay. store as a okay. fair coiffer or fair coiffer and mm-hmm, something like mm-hmm. that yeah okay that's not so yeah and um, how is the scenario what according to you how is your mm-hmm. observation here uh, is it difficult to get these kind of jobs or technical even technical jobs like internship and working student yeah i mean mm-hmm. you have to struggle a bit for a technical job i mean if you have some previous experience from uh, your home country then it would be a bit easier for you i would say but if you have no experience then i have i would say like you need to start looking as soon as uh, possible yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and for technical non technical jobs sorry it is it is easy comparing to the technical jobs but still again you mm-hmm. have to mm-hmm. like start yeah. looking up as soon as you can okay. yeah and can you can you tell us like if you are comfortable how much do these kind of jobs earn uh you know to maintain the living here yeah okay uh-huh. so i would say it is very subjective mm-hmm. like if you don't have a uh, contract job then uh, like it depends on the month of how many how many shifts you get mm-hmm. or like but if you have a contract job then there is a, a specific um salary or specific hours that you need to complete at uh, your workplace mm-hmm. and accordingly it depends like if if it is a mini job then you can earn up to 550 euros per month mm-hmm. um yeah. or it is a 40 hours job uh, 30 to 40 hours job then you can earn even up to uh, 800 to 900 euros per month as well but then okay. again you have to do that mm-hmm. spending your time yeah uh, exactly yeah. so you have to prioritize thing in this case yeah, you know yeah. what is important for you doing a part time job earning money or just finishing mm-hmm. your Master degree as yeah. soon as possible and then go for full time mm-hmm. job mm-hmm. now speaking about full time jobs yeah uh, what are the opportunities or what are the areas that students can go into or what kind of jobs do they get after they finish this masters course mm-hmm. yeah so like uh, after this you can go in so many different fields mm-hmm. you can go in the field of hard- hardware uh, software in the testing part in the development part okay. uh, whether be it software or hardware development mm-hmm. um, you can go with the vlsi mm-hmm. and uh, ai ml as well yeah. you can look mm-hmm. for jobs like mm-hmm. that yeah okay and when it comes to Uh, communication your 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 specialization yeah. can you also go into the same kind of jobs or? yes definitely okay. so for mm-hmm. me right now i'm doing my internship at deutsche telekom mm-hmm. in the field of wifi testing which includes majorly uh, mm-hmm. like i have to deal with hardware majorly okay yeah oh. 
that's nice all right so that was all about the course or jobs i would say but i am also interested to know uh, how is life in darmstadt as a student so what are all the things that are there as a student can do or what are the things to explore here so like i would say life here is pretty good mm -hmm. uh, comparing to any other major city mm -hmm. first of all because like darmstadt is comparatively a smaller city than uh, you know frankfurt and all the other bigger cities mm -hmm. so it is a uh, pretty easy like within 20 minutes you can be uh, anywhere okay. from the city center to the i mean any corner of the city okay. and also one plus point is uh, it is near to frankfurt yeah. so it is somewhat near uh, in the center of germany and you can be uh, like at any corner of the germany within 5 to 4 to 5 hours or something yeah. so that's the the best plus point yeah, the best part i yeah. would say was going to india so frankfurt <laughs> all the flights the air, air india flights goes from only frankfurt yeah. and it's much easier yeah. if you come by air india you come to frankfurt and basically you are home in, a, in half an hour yeah yeah, yeah. so it is a plus point i would say that is not i i don't get that advantage by living in munich yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's just like 25 <laughs> minutes uh, from mm -hmm. here frankfurt is 25 minutes okay. from here okay yeah. okay and, and mm -hmm. uh, other things if i'd like to mention then uh, if you are a party animal there are few clubs in damstad and mm -hmm. frankfurt is like it has many different kind of clubs okay. and uh, also like there is rhine river mm -hmm. where you can spend your evenings there are many gardens in the like in the city so if you are person who loves to come for a walk right. or exercise or, or yeah a bike ride or something mm -hmm. then it it is like really a good place to live here yeah okay yeah. all right and how do you spend your weekend then when you you get a free time Oh. <laughs> so like uh, I mean I would say this is a trick question because like throughout the week uh, uh -huh. I barely get time for myself so I usually yeah. spend by chilling mm -hmm. or uh, go out with my friends or have a nice din uh, lunch and dinner mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. throughout the week I eat anything yeah, yeah I but, understand I understand yeah. how the life so, is yeah okay yeah. cool and let's talk about the expenses now student expenses mm -hmm. how much do they have to do have to do they have to spend in a month let's say on accommodation and all other things mm, so so the average uh, spending would be nearly 600 to 650 euros per month mm -hmm. uh, that too if you pay like around 400 to 450 euros of rent just rent per month mm -hmm. but the average rent here is 350 euros i would say mm -hmm. and um, other expenses includes like your health insurance mm -hmm. uh, that is mandatory then your sim card bills um and your gross groceries uh, mm -hmm. shopping or your food basically okay. yeah so that will be up to 100 euros mm -hmm. a max yeah mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then depends on you of course yeah, so yeah. yeah in general i would say nearly 650 is more than enough for a person to live here yeah okay about the university fees do you have any university fees uh no just the semester fees mm -hmm. that is nearly 290 mm -hmm. okay. uh, so far yeah okay and yeah. you get to travel around yeah it includes majorly all the cities of mm -hmm. hessen except mm -hmm. for the border cities mm -hmm. um yeah okay. so you can like just cover one third uh, mm -hmm. of germany with within your uh, semester contribution okay yeah. that's, that's good now that we are coming at the end of our video i would like to know your feedback on the course on the program mm -hmm. how would that be uh i would say so far for me it has been uh, really good living here studying here mm -hmm. uh the university professors they are really knowledgeable and experienced okay. mm -hmm. and they have a lot of i mean mm -hmm. you can learn a lot of things from them in general life here is like for me it has been okay. uh, quite interesting and uh -huh. a bit challenging but i mean that's that's life like yeah. what would you like to tell these guys those who are you know going to come to this university or even like plan to come to this university mm -hmm. what should they come prepared in advance okay so first thing is just look it up for your mm -hmm. uh, subjects because some of the subjects have some prerequisites like learning a uh, few programming languages which okay. is c language mm -hmm. c++ plus plus mm -hmm. matlab yeah. something like that uh, mm -hmm. then uh, learn german um, as much as possible because life will be easy for you here mm -hmm. and thirdly i would like to mention that uh, please learn cooking <laughs> because that's really important otherwise yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. yeah like we I go mean, through that every, every day. day yeah true <laughs> so yeah. yeah i mean these mm -hmm. are the three advices from my side and okay. yeah i think we have got all the information on the course on the jobs on the living here in darmstadt and i would like to thank aditi for that uh, 
this information is really going to be valuable for you even if you are you know planning to come or if you have got an admit and you want to come to this university i think all this information will be really useful for you to make a decision all right so i think that's all in this video aditi do you want to tell these guys what they have to do now yeah so subscribe the channel like the video and share it with your friends who are planning to come here yeah all right thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one yeah. bye bye bye